What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be a spoiler free review for Gen V or aka the boys Gen V. For those of you who are not aware that this is set in the boys universe by the time you're listening to this. Uh, this series is again set in the boys universe. I believe it's taking place in between the events of season three and season four based off of what I've seen. This will just be a spoiler free review for the first six episodes because I haven't seen the last two. I guess they'll send those to me later. Uh, this is... Set in the diabolical world of the boys, Gen V expands the universe to to Godalkin University, the prestigious superhero only college where students train to be the next generation of heroes, preferably with lucrative endorsements. You know what happens when soups go bad, but not all superheroes start out corrupt. Beyond the typical college chaos of finding oneself and partying, these kids are facing explosive situations, literally. As the students vie for popularity and good grades, it's clear that the stakes are much higher when superpowers are involved. When the group of young soups discovers that something bigger and sinister is going on at school, they're put to the test. Will they be the heroes or the villains of their stories? This show is starring Jazz Sinclair, Chance Perdomo, Liz Broadway, Maddie Phillips, Derek Liu, London Thor, and several others. So, Gen V, I would say, is a successful expansion on the boy on the boys universe that explores a perspective that this universe doesn't get to do on the main parent show. It retains the humor, gore, and just the right amount of wokeness to appeal to fans of the boys. Uh, there's something about the gore here that's handled better compared to the boys as well, but I'll get back to that. I found the characters here far more compelling, honestly, primarily because we are finally getting a look at how these kids are feeling about their parents' exploitations by injecting them with the compound v at such a young age this series i think is debuting this friday on prime video and i just got my screeners today again this is just for episodes one through six anyway as mentioned i think this is a good show overall it has its problems such as the fact that perhaps if you didn't grow up on a show like degrassi or some other youth soap this might not be for you and just some of the things that are done as far as like in regards to how they handle aspects of the mystery uh some aspects just were a little predictable when they it seemed like to me it seemed like it was highly avoidable the way they did certain things but it was still engaging and compelling it balances the melodrama with vot shenanigans quite well our main character marie who can bend blood as her power has just been accepted into god you to start as a freshman and she's riddled with guilt and thoughts of self-harm over a tragedy connected to her compound v origins her roommate emma who has the ability to manipulate her size has a youtube channel and an eating disorder that's being exploited andre who has magnetism and other powers is the son of another soup and he's dealing with the burden of living up to his dad's legacy so there's nepotism at work here with this character golden boy luke who possesses th thermonuclear advantages is like a regina george type of character but there's a lot more to him than initially depicted then there's kate who is also riddled with guilt over a tragedy similar to marie's situation each character is explored in a way that makes them relatable likable and worth investing in a crucial concept that's lost on a few unfortunate projects but the boys universe continues to deliver with the character development they all represent something today's modern youth struggle with and the writers do a great job at making you feel sympathetic towards them by isolating them and then placing them against these elite adults who view them as not as nothing more than another avenue to maintain their status at the top while they have some very genuine interest as pertains to why they're here at god you as i pointed out the gore here is far more engaging due to it being incorporated to further address character struggles rather than just to surprise us like the boys often does although that is still present here and it's very effective when the boys does it as it is effective here as well uh you get your erotic scenes genital jokes etc obviously political jabs are thrown the central mystery kicks off at the end of episode one and if you're going blind it should catch you off guard because i hadn't watched anything besides that one trailer and the show seemed to just always keep on subverting my expectations in the best way possible as it was progressing the performances are fantastic jazz sinclair captures marie's guilt but desire to make amends for the past in a very profound way as does liz broadway with emma who is beyond tired of being exploited and made to feel insignificant and broadway brings that to life in the best way possible all of the young gen v cats have great chemistry this show has stellar pacing and that soundtrack just as you have in the boys show the soundtrack here is incredible lots of bops are present in this series i enjoyed 
Gen V for what it was. I would have to give this show so far a seven and a half out of 10. I look forward to finishing the season off with the last two episodes when they become available to me. And I will try to do my best to have weekly recaps of the show on the channel. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.